the person that's searching for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find Allah. So as long as you're sincere and you're on your journey to look for Allah, you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Constantly asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sincerity, raising our hands to Allah, praying to Allah in the middle of the night, and begging and pleading with Allah for the things that we want. That is the sign of sincerity. A lot of us are falling short in that. We're claiming that we want Allah, but are we willing to put in that effort? Whatever you put in is what you're going to get out. قال يوسف لأبي يا أبت إني رأيت أحد عشر كوكبا والشمس والقمر والشمس والقمر رأيتهم لي ساجدين قال يا بني لا تقصص رؤياك على إخوتك فيكيدوا لك كيدا إن الشيطان للإنسان عدو مبين وكذلك يجتبيك ربك ويعلمك من تاويل الحديث ويتم نعمته عليك وعلى آل يعقوب كما أتمها كما أتمها على أبويك من قبل إبراهيم وإسحاق إن ربك عليم حكيم ومن أعرض ذكري فإن له معيشة ضنكا ونحشره يوم القيامة أعمى قال رب لم حسرتني أعمى وقد كنت بصيرا قال كذلك تتك آياتنا فنسيتها وكذلك اليوم تنسى So you've been welcomed into your new home in Jannah by Allah, by the angels, and by all of the creation in paradise. What does that new home look like? Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that, we said to the Prophet sallallahu Ya Rasulullah, when we see you, our hearts are so soft and we feel like we're people of the hereafter. 
But then once we leave from you, we get involved in this dunya and we get busy with our spouses and our children and we feel like our hearts are hardened a bit. And the Prophet ﷺ said, if you were to remain on the same condition on which you are with me, the angels would shake hands with you and visit you in your homes. And if you were to not commit sins, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would replace you with others who will commit sins and then they'll seek his forgiveness and he can forgive them. Meaning you're not supposed to be perfect yet. That's in Jannah and the angels would greet you in every direction like they would in Jannah if you were to be perfect in this life. But keep on striving and keep on going and wait for that moment where you enter into Jannah and actually live that reality. And on that note, the companions, they responded to the Prophet ﷺ and they said, Ya Rasulullah, tell us about Jannah and its structure. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Labinatun min fidla, wa labinatun min dhahab, wa milatu hal miskul athfar, wa hasba'u hal lu'lu wal yaqut, wa turbatu hal za'faran. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that its structure is one brick of gold, one brick of silver, its plaster is musk. Its gravel is pearl and ruby, and its soil is saffron. So again, these palaces are from bricks of gold and silver. The plaster is musk, the gravel is pearl and ruby, and the soil is saffron. The Prophet said, He said, whoever enters into it will be pleased and will not grieve will enjoy eternity without death. Their clothes will never fade and their youth will never expire. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he gives you the scene. He says, you enter into a lofty house and the distance between the ground and the roof is a hundred cubits. So it's super high ceilings. And he said, it's built on a waterfall of pearl and ruby, having red, green, and yellow paths. And none of the pathways in Jannah are the same as the other. So there's differentiation throughout. And he said the water flows throughout the homes. And this is the case of all of the homes of Jannah that you have water flowing throughout. And beautiful mansions in gardens of everlasting bliss. SubhanAllah, notice that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He says, mansions. So it's not just one mansion, mansions. And he said, they're beautiful and they're pure and they don't require any maintenance. You know, sometimes people worry that a big house means big trouble. And by the way, there's no kitchen in Jannah because what would you need a kitchen for anyway? You don't need to wash dishes. You don't need to vacuum. You don't need to clean anything of these houses. That's all taken. Hi, friends. Hi, everyone. I hope you all are doing great. I don't think I talk to you guys ever since I started this vlog. Hopefully, you've reached to this part where I talk to you because this is not a silent vlog. Like, I just let it go with the flows. So, we literally came back from the market and I got a new sunscreen. Last year, I got this. Estelin sunscreen. It was so good. It's the best sunscreen I've ever used in my life. But I just see, let me finish. Because I have a very sensitive skin. I see, let me finish the whole bottle. If I didn't react to it or if it didn't cause any drama in my skin, then I'm going to recommend it to my people. And guess what? After I finished the whole bottle and I went to the market to get another one, and then I'll come back and make a recommendation video. I couldn't find it in the market, like literally, I couldn't find it. I don't even know where to got it. I've been looking for this for almost a month, but up to now, I didn't find it. Like, I literally feel like crying. Please ignore all the sound in the background, because it is what it is. So I, I went to the market to get... So I got this one. I saw this one in the market. It's the same company. Is Estelin. Oh my god, I'm it. So it's the same company. So I thought it's going to make the same work, but trust me, this is one of the worst sunscreen I've ever placed my hands on. Like the formula is so worse. 
it leaves a terrible white cast that will make you look like a ghost. It protects your skin, but I just cannot go out looking like a ghost. Like, how can I go out looking like a ghost? So I just normally use it when I'm, being, when I'm at home. And I've been asking them if they got this one so that I can just go and get it. But it's been almost a month now and they didn't, they didn't restock it. I went to the market today just to get a sunscreen. Like, literally just to get a sunscreen. And I ended up buying a lot of this even though I couldn't record anything because it's not safe <laughs> it's not safe for me to record so i got this dr Asho. i don't know i risked it again if this one didn't work or if this one leave a white cast also i am going to cry so let's open and see hopefully this is nice like i am going to cry if this Okay, always the packaging looks so cute, but oh god, it's good. It's melting inside the skin. It's not even showing. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And it smells so nice. It smells exactly like this one. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so I'm definitely going to go and buy and buy this one again. Cause oh my god, it's, it's good. So alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, it's good. It's good, it's good. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. And I just decided to be making my vlog to be like a little bit short maybe 10 minutes 12 minutes 11 minutes but not more than that because i just um realize how excited I'm, i how excited i used to be when my vlogs i shot in editing them and everything and i also get this lip um lip moisturizer from new year it's so nice smell nice i saw it um i saw it uh with my one of my friends like it smells so nice so thank you so much for watching see you in the next vlog mm -hmm.